Hello friends, welcome back to the introductory module of Introduction to Buy Inspired Design course. Today we are going to discuss about uh, Bullet Train and Kingfisher Bird. This is a classic example and most popular example of the subject Buy Inspired Design and Biomimicry or you can think, take it as Biomimetics. Why this example is so popular? There are numerous articles in newspapers, magazines, and scientific journals which tells that nose of this Japanese bullet trains is inspired from the beak of a kingfisher bird. This nowhere seems to be related to a sane mind. But if you compare the facts, uh, the facts are such that the bullet train, if you tell it to my left side, you can see the bullet train has a very huge mass, a big volume, and it is of course very fast and more often it uh, goes on the surface. In contrast, the Kingfisher bird is a very small device or a, a small entity and it has a disproportionate size of beak. It, is, it has a very low volume and moreover it flies in the air. There is no possible similarity we can draw between these two uh, items. But uh, if you see the evolution of bullet trains, you can really see the earlier versions of the bullet trains which has their snout designed to the shape of a cigar. And the currently evolving bullet trains which, are, uh, which have changed their nose to a shape of a kingfisher bird beak. And viscose drag is a most important phenomena where the fluid where you are moving, it is pulling you back uh, and reducing the speed. And this is very much proportional to the, the speed you try to move into the fluid. Meaning, a fast moving object will have always a tougher viscous drag or tougher force of drag than that of a slow moving object in any kind of fluid. And that can be air. To best imagine this uh, viscous, uh, viscous drag, it would be uh, good to suppose a bottle and a cloth and a piece of cloth. Just imagine you, are, you have laid a piece of cloth on a bottle top with an open lead and trying your finger to push, uh, push the cloth down into the uh, neck of the bottle. Now gradually you will see that uh, your fingers would be uh, difficult to be pushed into the bottleneck and you will also imagine that there is an envelope of, uh, of the cloth which is uh, taking the shape of your finger is lying there on the neck of the bottle. Now suppose you replace uh, your finger with that of a sharp object. Try to push the same through uh, the bottle top and uh, through that cloth. Now what would you imagine that uh, to some extent the resistance would be there but after that the sharp object will try to make its way inside without any resistance. Yeah, so the same thing happens to the nose of a bullet train. When it was a form of a cigar, it encounters a maximum amount of viscous drag which in turn causes a lot of uh, sound blast when a train passes through tunnels in and out. Plus. Uh, whenever the train uh, will pass, it will, uh, it will need maximum amount of energy to overcome this viscose drag. But once you change the nose shape to that of uh, uh, the shape of a kingfisher bird, then it uh, gently cuts through the air and finally uh, we would get very less amount of viscous dress resulting in more energy efficiency, more faster the, uh, the train can go and effectively there are very less uh, amount of noises made. For a casual eyes, it looks very normal. But when you observe it keenly, you will see that whenever the kingfisher dives into water, its beak does not even make a single splash, not even a single ripple. And its beaks enter into the water before its body does. And that is how a bullet train and a kingfisher uh, bird, we can draw analogy. We will try to discuss many of such problems in this uh, module. And uh, thank you for now.